Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so excited because we have the brand new Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe palette. <gasps> I've already saw this palette and I've swatched it and oh my God, this may be the best palette yet. So you guys wanna see what this palette's all about, when is it launch, all the details, well then definitely keep watching. Okay guys, so you guys know that I have been reviewing the Nomad Cosmetics palette since 2021 and I absolutely love the brand. Yes, we've had some misses, but in today's video, I think we definitely have a hit because I think we're being introduced to our first ever multi-chrome inside Nomad Cosmetics. What? So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. So this palette came with a little postcard right here and on the front it says, Inauguration of the newest Nomad palette. By command of the royal family, the Earl Marshal is directed to invite our special community member to be present at the reveal of the most recent launch in the Nomad Cosmetics Destination Gallery on this day in the year 2023. Now they always put this little font right here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can barely ever read this font. I don't know, I think it's too tiny and I just, I struggle. So we're just gonna ignore it. It says that this is a new Royal Europe Intense Color and Chrome Palette with Multi-Chrome Singles. The Destination. From Versailles to Buckingham, a collection of royal palaces and castles span across Europe, each full of family jewels, palace rooms, and heirlooms of bygone eras. Uniquely different in their own expansive uniquely different in their own expensive estates, imposing architectures and precious treasures. They're all impressive destinations that create a sense of awe and inspiration. The color story, jewels and gems fit for a royal, collection of 10 luxury mats and an opulent jewel tone in amber, emerald, sapphire, amethyst, and ruby highlighted by five new dazzling multi-chromes that, that add a spectacular ornate touch. The cause, we are proud to support Unico World Heritage Center that protects and preserves precious heritage sites around the world. <laughs> I am so excited. Here is the Nomad Royal palette right here. Are you guys ready to see the color story? Are you ready for it? Ding, ding. What's this is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> actually does retail for $57 and all these little multi-chromes you guys see right here these are going to be available individually for $12 a piece and the palette's going to be launching on Tuesday March 28th around 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and you guys can use code Allie which will save you guys 10% off when purchasing this palette so look at how gorgeous this is is this not a freaking gorgeous gorgeous palette I don't even think that multi-chromes are coming off as beautifully as they are in person <gasps> look at that look at that shift right there do you guys see that whoa what? I am so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and just swatch this for you guys. And we're just going to dive right in because I think this is probably one of the prettiest freaking palettes I've ever seen Nomad Cosmetics create. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right. So here's the first row right here. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I can't pronounce half these places. So I'm not even going to bother. But here's the first row right here. I have to say this is one swatch. The pigment, the pigment on these shadows. I mean, one, these mattes are so incredibly soft, so freaking soft. But just like, look at the pigment. What? What? Okay, so here's the second row right here. It looks very similar to the first row, just a little bit more of a deeper tone. And oh my God, there is a lot of kick up in the pan and it's definitely staining. So it's something to take note whenever playing this palette is that because of how the shadows are formulated, they're so pigmented. Oh, they're probably going to stain. Okay, so here are the multi-chromes right here. Now, this is definitely not the best swatches of it. Like, it's hard for it to tell on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and insert an actual, like, video of me doing close-up on my phone so you guys can see how these look. But I have to say, these are absolutely incredible. They feel so freaking soft and buttery, which is really, like, nice for me because I've been talking about how their previous two palettes, their shimmers have been pretty hard pan and not what I'm used to in terms of, like, the Nomad Cosmetics quality. So this is definitely a nice, refreshing feel for them. I'm really enjoying how soft and butter these feel and the multi-chromes like the shift on these are gorgeous. So with that said guys I'm so excited. I think this is definitely a really beautiful palette. I think Nomad did such a good job at capturing like the jewel tone, sapphire, ruby, 
emerald field in this palette. I think it definitely does represent like the family jewels beautifully, but it's just an overall beautiful color story. And I'm so excited to dip, go ahead and dig into it. So let's go ahead and get you guys zoomed in and let's start playing with this palette. Okay. So I think I'm going to do a halo eye look today. So I'm going to go in with the shade right here. Here that's called King's Room. We're gonna do that in the inner and outer corner. Do like a green eye look today. Shocker! Breaking news, Allie doing a green eye look. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna stamp this in the inner corner and outer corner. Um, I feel like right here, I feel like I'm getting a sty on my eye, or like a pimple, because it kind of like hurts and I don't know why. And I'm just like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't be doing an eyeshadow look, but like I want to play with this too. So you know, the things we do for beauty, we're just going to ignore it. I'm going to put the makeup on and then once I am done with my review, I'm going to probably have to take it off my eye because my eye is definitely a little swollen right there. That is something. Um, I think it's really cool that they did like a Royal England. I've always wanted to go to England, especially like now that my sister lives there. I really want to go visit England. Um, I know like I think it's a goal of mine one day to like spend like Christmas and like New Year's in England because um, I feel like it'd be so fun to like see it. My parents I think are going to England hopefully sometime in the summer and I'm so jealous. I'd like to go with them but like I think they're gonna go for like three weeks and I'm not gonna lie to you guys like England is expensive and I don't think I can miss work for three weeks and I don't think Corey can take off for three weeks either. Also, we're gonna put our dogs, like we can. So I hope my parents have the best time, but I'm just so happy my sister lives over there. She seems to be thriving living over in England. Um, she's about four hours away from London, but she seems to really, really enjoy it. I'm gonna go into the shade called Vanello's Palace right here. So she's so cool because like she would tell us all the like different stuff that they have there versus here. And we get to like learn like the differences between the two countries. And wow, that is such a freaking pretty color. And she'll send us chocolate, we'll send her chocolate. Because there are some things that she absolutely misses that she can't get in England. Like she really does miss. Kraft mac and cheese because they don't have Kraft mac and cheese there. Like it's it's just different. The cheese is different. Chocolates are different. So there's some things that like she would have us send to her. Like she has me send her Taco Bell seasoning because she misses Taco Bell seasoning because <laughs> they don't have that there. But it is like I said, a big dream of mine to go visit England at some point because that'd be so freaking cool. Absolutely beautiful. Like holy crap. Now there's definitely some fallout. You guys can see some fallout right here. But like, look how nice these are laying down. What the heck? Now I can safely say that there is definitely some kick up in the pan. I mean, just look at the pan. Whew. Definitely some kick up. This is one of those palettes that are just very, very, very pigmented. But I really do like that because like I said, their previous palettes, I like the Love and Death one. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of glitter glue right here from NYX. Uh, their, Love and, their Life and Death one, I really enjoyed. But like their Santa Village palette, I just wasn't living for that. I just feel like the shimmers were not the shimmer quality that I'm used to with Nomad. So it's really nice to feel it being just a little bit different. All right, now I'm gonna go into the shade called Royal Orb right here. Like, look at how pretty that is. Like what? It has blue in it, but it's hard to tell on camera. Wow. Wow, that is stunning. The other thing that's really cool is that every time Nomad does their palettes, their travel destination palettes, they always are at that country visiting it. I'm just like, man, I'm jealous. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Like, how cool is that? Okay, we'll worry about blending in just a moment. I'm just like laying everything down. So in the center, we're going to go into Imperial Crown right here. And we're going to put this right in the center. Like it will kind of like tie everything together. Look at how pretty that is. It just, for me, I feel like it definitely looks like so messy on camera but we just gotta work on blending it out and it's gonna blend out so nicely. I definitely feel like adding that glitter glue is really helping making that like pop as well. So let me go ahead now and go back into that Willow's Palace. And we're gonna start to just blend these together. Wow, like in person, it's so freaking pretty. I wonder if Nomad would ever like collab with anybody. If they ever do, I volunteer as tribute. I volunteer, I volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. I would absolutely love to work with Nomad Cosmetics. I already have like an idea of like what I want to do because I love like travel destination stuff and I feel like they're really good at doing like travel destination. And I would just, I don't know, I think it'd be so cool to be a part of that because they do make such beautiful freaking palettes. And these multi-chromes are beautiful. They're laying down top of these mattes very, very nicely. They're not really taking much for them to blend out at all. 
like I feel like you didn't even need glitter glue, but I just feel like adding that glitter glue just added that extra little pop. Here's how it's looking right now. It was a very easy eye look to do. I'm gonna um, take off this right here. We're gonna clean up this eye because it's definitely a little messy. We're gonna come back and do, we're gonna come back with the other eye done, lashes on, and they're gonna do the under eye together. I think maybe like a purple might be really nice to go with it. I kind of use different colors, maybe like blue. I don't know, but this is actually laying down really nicely. This is so reminiscent of like their first few palettes I try, like the Fire and Ice and whatnot. This is a really pretty palette. The shimmers are, the Melty Chromes are freaking gorgeous, and these mattes are so pigmented. It feels incredible. I'm, I'm impressed so far. Okay, so now that the makeup's on, we're gonna go back into this palette. I'm gonna take the shade called Hall of Mirrors right here. I'm actually gonna blend it out with Place of Versailles, Palace of Versailles right here. I'm gonna blend these two together to do the under eye. Now, I originally was gonna do two different eye looks today, but I'm not gonna lie, um, this, whatever this is right here, it's kind of like bothering me right now. I'm putting on um, a little bit of mascara and eyeliner. It started to sting and I was like, oh, nope, 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 nope. I did not want to risk, you know, irritating my eye any more than what it already is. Cause I don't know if it's a sty and if it's a sty, <sighs> like what do I do? Corey gets styes more than I do. I know I could put like hot water on it and whatnot, but I just don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with this. So I just was like, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and try to put on a like, purple or pink color knowing that these are very intense colors and these are going to stain so i'm going to have to like rub my eye to get the color pigment off of it and i just didn't want to risk my eye so unfortunately i didn't do two different eye looks today but i almost did just so you guys know i definitely thought about doing it but i'm sure um one of my, i'm sure my good friend heather austin she is notorious for doing a couple eye looks so maybe she will have done that for you guys if you want to go watch her video I just didn't want to risk my eye today. So I'm doing one look. Um, I feel like this one is going to be like the least likely to stain. I do know that purples and pinks and reds, they stain. But it is what it is. Like you you know what you're getting yourself into whenever you're playing around with those colors. Like they just have the capability of staining because of how intense um, their, their pigment is. So I'm just going to blend this out. To add like a little bit of flair, we're going to go into the shade called Blue de France. This beautiful duo chrome right here. Do you guys see how pretty that is? Oh, so pretty. We're actually going to take that on my, we're going to take my E34 brush right here and we're actually going to put that on to like a mix of this. So it has like a nice little multi-chrome underneath it because like why not? Just, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Now there's definitely some fallout with these shadows. So I would recommend if playing with this palette, do your eye look first if you can or wear some sort of eye guard because there's definitely some fallout with it. So it is what it is, but I'm gonna throw on some black liner really fast and then we're gonna do the inner corner and that's gonna pretty much complete this look. So I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner. I absolutely am obsessed with this eyeliner. It is like the best black liner ever. And I was so excited because I truly thought that during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale that Urban Decay was gonna do a sale on their liners and they're not. It's just their lip liners. All right, then to finish this look off, we're gonna go into the Jaclyn Cosmetics Balm Loose Highlighter right here. I'm gonna take this shade, I'm gonna put it in my inner corner and brow bone today. I feel like that'd be like a really pretty shade to put with that. Like just very lightly place that right there. All right, guys, let me go ahead and do my lips off of camera and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I feel like it's been such a moment since I've done like a really colorful eyeshadow look. At least, I think it has. Oh, I don't remember, but I have to say I am absolutely living for this look. I think it's so beautiful and I don't know how well like the multi-chromes are coming off on camera, but in person, oh my God, the shift on these shadows, it is so freaking beautiful. I cannot stop looking at how gorgeous these shifts are. So let's go ahead and go over the pack. Let's go ahead and go over this palette. So first we have the outside packaging. To me, the outside packaging, isn't wowing. I don't think the outside packaging is pretty. Like, ooh, I personally don't. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be like gemstones and diamonds and stuff. Oh, I get it. I get it. But I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the outside packaging. The front of the palette itself, like, is like a nice, like, like textured, like it's a really textured outside palette, but I just don't really think the outside packaging is pretty, in my personal opinion. But when you open the inside though, holy crap, these 
sh these shadows in here are absolutely beautiful. I personally think this is probably one of the prettiest eyeshadow palettes that Nomad Cosmetic has ever come out with. This is such a stunning palette. I also love that you are going to be getting very similar colors, but it just in different variation, just like different tones. I love like the cool tones in here. I love that it's supposed to represent different gems that the royal family may have in their collection. It's supposed to be like one of their just family in England. And I just really think this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I think they did such a great job at capturing the essence of like the royal family. I feel so like, beautiful wearing this right now. And I am just so grateful. grateful they have multi-chromes in here. Their multi-chromes are gorgeous. I mean, like, look at this. This is such a beautiful, like, multi-chrome i can't get over how stunning and especially like in person because you can really see like the blue green gold shift it is so captivating I, I just keep looking at it going oh my gosh i am in love with this so much but i think about what i love about it even more is that they are so creamy and buttery they don't feel hard pan and that makes me so excited because you guys know how much i love nomad cosmetics and with their other palettes being a little bit hard pan on their shimmers it was a little disappointing but this like this just makes up for it. And then there are mattes. Holy shit, are their mattes super freaking soft? But my God, are they pigmented? Like there's there's definitely some fallout on the desk. There's some fallout on my outfit. A lot of kick up in the pan. So just knowing you guys are playing with this, you are gonna have a lot of fallout with this. And that's not a bad thing at all. That just shows you like how highly pigmented these are. I feel like a little bit goes a long way. I didn't have any issues with blending or it being patchy. It worked really beautifully for me. Out of all the palettes from Nomad, this is probably now my favorite palette. I feel like they did such a kick-ass job with this palette. I think it's so beautiful and I'm just, uh, I'm blown away by it. I cannot wait to keep playing with these right here. Like this is just freaking everything. So palette will be launching on Tuesday, March 28th at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It does retail for $57. You guys can buy the individual chrome shades right here for $12 a piece. And if you guys use code Allie, you guys can save 10% off your purchase. And I'm just, oh my God, I'm so blown away. Nomad, you guys did such a great job. And if you guys ever do want to collaborate with anybody. Tribute. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll forever be grateful to Mikey for introducing them to me. Fire and Ice Palette felt got me fire. The Fire and Ice Palette made me fall in love with them, and I'm just. I love them so much. And this is such a beautiful palette. I think you guys would really, really love this. Yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, Art for Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye Okay guys, so I have been reviewing Nomad Cosmetics since 2021. And you guys know, I have definitely found some favorites and I've definitely found some of my not so favorite palettes. Okay guys, so you guys know, I have been reviewing Inside Nomad Cosmetics, Inside Nomad, but it says that this is the, it says that this is a new, you stay March 28th at what? Fuck. Oh shit. So like a, just...